Hi everybody, it's Janice and I'm back for part two of my graduation card. I used the recess Cricut Light cartridge I got at Walmart um, to make this little girl. So watch part one if you want to see how I made that little gra boy graduate into a little girl graduate. And I finished it off with some stickles, crystal stickles, and I put a little piece of um, just embroidery thread that I colored with some distress stain. I'll show you that in just a moment here. Um, I tied a little bow. It's just from this okay, embroidery thread, I think, or crochet thread. I always call it embroidery thread. It's crochet thread. And I just tied it into a tiny bow. And I, in that case over there, I used uh, wild honey. But I think the other graduation card I have to make, I think their colors are blue and gold or something like that. Or blue and orange. Kind of like gatory colors, I think. I'm not sure what Boone High School's colors are. But I'm, I think those are it. This, my cousin graduated from there and she always had. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just using faded jeans here. As I only have two blues and they are both dark. I need to get um, one of the packs that has the, the lighter blue. Like maybe broken china or something or tumbled glass. And then what I did was I took a little bit of water and spritzed it on there. And then and then there's still enough on there that if I wanted to I could dye another one. And then I took my heat gun and just dried it. And it's quite wet, so take a while to do that. And if you don't have a heat gun, then just let it dry. Just do it, maybe make a few ahead of time and make yourself a whole bunch of these cute little bows. And that's what I like about the distress inks and distress stains and all of that because you can use it to color stuff. So that's it. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And then I just took some glossy accents and I put a little dot there and then I stuck that down. It's nicely on there. And I used glossy accents on her eyes and on her little shoes. Give her patent leather shoes. Now for the card base, this is what my card base is going to look looks like. And I used some paper from this crate paper. I really like this paper. It's called um, School Spirit Collection. And it's CratePaper.com. And I've never had this, but it is double-sided. And I love all double-sided paper. And I got this from my friend Lisa in Canada. Um, she is Midnight Gardener 09, maybe? I'm not sure. But thank you, Lisa. I really like this paper, and I just thought of it today. I was like, I know I have some really awesome two-sided paper, and I went in search, and I found it. Um, so anyway, I, I mean, I created its own little place to keep it in, <laughs> and then I couldn't find where it was. So I used the banner one. It says go team, but you know, you're not going to be able to tell that. I just thought banners is cute for celebration. And then the other side is that. So it's cute because you can still see the other side. And then for the cover, I used this one right here. Which the other side is really cute too. And I cut this out of the recess cartridge as well. And it is cut. I wanted it to fit that little graduate. So I just sized it to to match you know so that the graduate would fit in there I could even cut it a little smaller but this is fine and I hid the contours if you see here 
it has, you can't really see it, but it has a hole and it has eight where you would put an ABC for the layer of that cut. So I just hid everything so it would just be a solid tag. And I, I personally cut it at 5.47 height. So, but you know, five and a half would work or five and a quarter, depending on what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop her on there. But before I do that, oh, and let me just show you what I did. This is paper tray ink, cream colored cardstock. And I'm using my score buddy because that's what I keep nearby now. I have my Martha Stewart scoreboard in my scrap bag. And I love it because the score buddy has a dot here and a dot here and that shows you that that's where you would score for a gatefold card, which is what we're making. Um, but if you don't have the score buddy or the score pal on your Martha Stewart scoreboard, you just take and you score at the two and one eighth and then flip the paper over and do two and one eighth again and you get a perfect um, gatefold card. Ah! I knew that was going to happen. Sorry. I just at a weird angle. Jazzy Jess had said, suggested to do like um, Megan from Above Ruby Studios and others have that boom it's called a boom and um, it's like a it's like a microphone stand but um, my husband actually bought that for me last Christmas and uh, it was too big for my space I really don't have a lot of room and I'm right by the door that goes out to the garage and so I had set it up and tried it one time and it just it was a pain because my son and my husband are in and out sometimes while I'm doing this and I, I just, you know, I just, I mean, they could go, just go out the other door, but I just thought that was too much of an inconvenience, and it was too expensive for that, for what I do, you know, I, I don't make money at these videos, I don't, it's not a business for me, it's just something I share, so I just do it this way, it's fine, but it is a good idea, and if I had a craft room, I would definitely, would definitely have kept it. Um, okay, so for this card, this is for my other little friend that's graduating, and so I'm going to use this one because I like that color. I love the other side too. I just love every single sheet. I'm going to cut this down to your traditional 18 size layer, which would be, be 4 by 5 and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I need to move this. Four. Let's save that scrap from five and a quarter. Uh oh, that wasn't, that's probably not going to be straight now. That arm was not on there straight. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit more. Oh man. This is when I need my tonic. Darn. Okay, well, you know what? It's just paper. Let's get another one. I can still use that to cut something. Okay, make sure that arm is straight. That's why I love my tonic trimmer. And then five and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut it in half at two because this is for my gatefold card. Okay. And then what I did is I took my Rear Memory Keeper Corner Chomper and then just do this and this. 